Hey guys, I wanted to record a quick video and go over how you can enhance your Webflow forms from this to this. So adding this nice little um, country picker and really improving the user experience um, that way. And in my opinion, it just looks very professional. Um, and this is uh, quite an easy thing to achieve, or at least it should be, thanks to a very handy clonable um, I will show you later. Um, but in my uh, past experience, when I tried to implement this, I um, yeah, faced several issues, especially in terms of the styling of this drop dropdown. Um, it was always super messed up and I couldn't uh, immediately figure out how to fix it, um, as well as sometimes the form just stopped working altogether. Um, so yeah, uh, that's why um, I've just been through this uh, process on a client project and now um, I just wanted to record this video. So um, the clonable I mentioned is the international telephone input from Kazuhiro Oz Hashimoto. Um, so a big shout out to him. He has created this fantastic clonable. Um, and yeah, if we just uh, imagine the typical use case is gonna be, um, we already have built a a form for a client um, and then we want to add this uh, country picker um, to the phone input field. So how I would uh, suggest to go about it is to just um, copy um, or clone this uh, clonable from Kazuhiro um, and then when we're inside the clonable first things you need to do is, I'm gonna make myself smaller, um, is we have some uh, custom code uh, in the uh, head as well as in the body. So um, just paste those two in. All right. Then the second thing is that um, if you take a look here, you can see that the form itself has an ID of form and the phone field has an ID of phone. So um, let's again go back to the form. Right here we can put in the form and actually for the phone field um, we are gonna be copying, um, oops, <laughs> this is still from last time, we are gonna be copying this whole input block um, with um, the, the phone field as well as uh, two uh, embed fields and just um, yeah put them in there. Then we can remove our old phone field and then we can just uh, adjust the styling to our other form fields. Here we have the big input field. Um, delete the current classes, just give it this class. Then we put the phone number as a placeholder. Um, and it already has the ID phone since we copied it over from the clonable. And now it should already uh, be working. We can already uh, publish to see um, yeah, if everything is already functioning. And yeah, we can see that we have the drop down, but it's completely messed up. And <laughs> this is the part where um, yeah, I faced some problems in the past. Um, so first of all, I would like to um, give it the same uh, width. And I know this is not the ideal solution, but for now I'm just gonna do it like this. Um, so just we have the uh, fixed width of the other fields. Um, yeah, and then like I said, we have this issue here. It's quickly gonna publish. And um, for this, in order to fix this um, drop down and adjust it to our brand uh, and uh, the corporate identity of the client, uh, we need some uh, custom CSS. And like I said, I struggled with this a little bit in the past, um, but I would like to share um, the way how I uh, went about this. So what I did is I opened up the inspector, um, opened up the dropdown, and now 
we can go on this uh, selector tool here. And if we take a look here at this whole um, list of countries, you can see it has a class called a uh, country list. And then um, we can see the different uh, values here. For example, this has a default background color of a white. And now if we were to change this, wow, this already looks so much better. And um, the way to go about this is, uh, we already know this is the class. So we need to hop into our custom code and I've um, yeah, prepared a little bit of a cheat sheet here. <laughs> so this is the um, custom CSS I used the last time. Just gonna paste it in here. Um, let's get rid of all this for now. Um, yeah, but as we can see on this live page, uh, we have the class uh, iti country list. So just double click um, command C, go in here, um, command V for the class. And then um, for example, here we did it with the selector tool and then I would just copy this uh, background color and put it in here. Um, and yeah, then we, uh, we can do some more stuff. For example, we see that the border color is still this ugly thing. And here we can already see border already this value. And if we adjust it, the border color changes. So I actually, um, no, we definitely want a border, something along this uh, gray of the other fields. Something like this is fine. So then we just copy this put it right here for the border color. Um, then we have, um, we can see that the edges are not rounded, although all the other uh, edges are perfectly rounded here. Um, should be, yeah, border radius. Um, actually, I just uh, asked ChatGPT uh, for the CSS class for the borders. Um, it gave me this class. Uh, then we can put six pixels into there and let's see. So for example, uh, we can already click um, here and just try it out. Border radius um, six pixels and yep, it immediately um, yeah, gets adjusted in the live view. So we can definitely know um, yeah, that we can put it in here. And then you can just play a little bit round, uh, around, for example, here. Um, I scroll it down and add it a little bit of um, padding, just so we have a little bit more space here. Um, I would just give it the, um, here the padding top um, attribute. Um, but it is already um, quite deep into uh, perfectionism. <laughs> yeah, and after that, so this is uh, regarding the uh, country list. Um, and what we can then do is we can click on um, this here. This has the class um, ET, uh, ITI divider. Copy it right out of here. ITI divider. Yeah, and basically, yeah, you're just um, playing around with the different properties here. So for example, right now he is white, but I would prefer it here, border bottom. Um, let's take this one again and perfect. We can see that it gets adjusted in real time and this looks way better. This is the same, about the same color as um, our borders on the side course in real life we would want the exact same um, color code so it's gonna be this one um, and the property is border bottom so and guys you can see this is just an absolute uh, do-it-yourself <laughs> approach <laughs> um, yep and 
Let's uh, um, add this thing again. And then let's save for now, publish it and see um, if all of our changes um, have already been set so far. Ah, and right here we can see that I uh, made a small mistake because um, the border, um, the, the color of the border here is not, um, yeah, uh, is not working 100%. And the issue is if we expand this here, the exact properties border, bottom, color. Um, so let's try this one, border, bottom, color. Gonna save it one more time. And refresh. Yeah, now it's perfectly working. Um, that's great. And yeah, um, you could repeat those steps uh, as often as you want. If you see some, some little um, things you still want to adjust, um, you can do it that way. And then one more thing that's super important to note is um, how to change those um, preferred countries. So um, this is actually um, yeah, quite easily achieved. And I have a, a cheat sheet for this one, one more time as well. And because we need the property right here of preferred countries. And uh, for those uh, country codes, you can easily look them up on this site right here. So you want to count country codes and we need the alpha two codes. Um, in my case, since uh, I am from Austria, a German speaking country, I would need the AT and the, the one from Germany, it's um, DE. So I'm just gonna put them uh, into here, save. And this way you can edit the preferred countries shown right here. So let me refresh. Yep, that already works like a charm. And then one more thing, the initial flag you're seeing right here, um, you can edit uh, this um, right off the box, uh, right out of the box, right here, initial country. In my case, I'm just gonna put AT here once again. And then hit the refresh. And now we got the Austrian flag um, so it's already looking uh, really fantastic. Um, for example, you could um, have a little plugin here. You could uh, click on this country, uh, on, on this color, um, give the whole uh, drop down here, the background color of that one instead. That way all the fields have exactly the same color. And yeah, you see, uh, at this point, you can just play around until you um, reached the perfect spot. I think this already looks absolutely fantastic, absolutely uh, professional. So yeah, I hope um, this was helpful. Um, I implemented this on a few sites now and the clients uh, really like it every time. Um, I think it's it's a very nice touch and it looks quite professional and uh, yeah, uh, a video like this would have saved me <laughs> definitely a lot of uh, time and struggles. So I hope this is uh, helpful and I wish you guys all the best. Have a good one. Bye bye.